Bundeskanzlerin Lisa Baum. Er wiegt zwei Tonnen und er ist ähm, 40 Jahre alt. Germany is a forerunner in green legislation and environmental protection. In 1991, it introduced mandatory recycling. In 2011, it began to phase out nuclear power in favor of wind and solar energy. But in the eyes of the nation's forest owners, not every new green proposal is as green as it sounds. Our government decided uh, many years ago to set 5% of the forest area aside, which will have grave global effects. Philipp zu Guttenberg represents around 2 million private and communal forest owners in Germany. He is their main representative in Berlin. When it comes to the climate effect, every timber that you cannot harvest in or use in Germany will have to be imported from outside the EU. That will put between 40 and 50,000 people out of employment. It will have a negative economic effect of about 3 to 5 billion euro every year. Germany has Europe's largest standing timber reserves, which cover about a third of the country's landmass. Mr. Guttenberg's owner group, die Waldeigentümer, own about two-thirds of all forest land in Germany. Many forest owners have a relationship to their land that goes back decades, if not centuries in the case of some families. Our family lived with and off the forest for many, many, many generations and um, it's our main source of income. The forest is my life, economically as well as personally. and. Um, I try and uh, teach exactly the same thing to, to my children to fulfill that generation uh, contract, um, which it is basically. Mr. Guttenberg comes from a 900-year-old family in Bavaria and owns vast tracts of forest land in Bavaria and neighboring Austria. The German forestry tradition is based on the intensive management and care of trees, plants and animal populations. 1.1 million people work in Germany's forestry and wood production industries, almost 50% more than work in Germany's world-famous automotive industry. Following Germany's decision to expand into renewable energy, the importance of Germany's wood industry as a source of renewable power has grown. Most of the people talk about solar, wind and water. Nobody knows about forestry and, and wood products. 70% of all the renewable resources used for the energy transition is biomass and half of that is wood. The investment opportunities in the wood industry is huge and will increase in the next couple of years. While the value of wood as a biomass source has risen since the country's change in energy policy, forest land remains a scarce resource held in the hands of a few families and communities. We don't sell. Forestry is a generation bridging project and you can't sell your production facility. So the market is very tight compared to many other regions in the world. As a nature, the key to sustainable forestry is smart management based on sound environmental principles but grounded in practical techniques used by forest owners. The reason why Germany is so successful in working the principle of sustainability, because we've got secure rights, we've got a state that guarantees us those rights and the personal freedom that comes with it. One of Mr. Guttenberg's favorite pastimes is spending time in the forest. But this month he's moving to Berlin. The fight over the future of Germany's forests will be decided next year in the Bundestag, where several proposals may try to place new restrictions on forest owners. We are missing a holistic picture or a holistic approach. What do we do with our resources? How do we use them efficiently? Not just on a national basis, but also in a global context. <laughs>